Hi friends, I'm missing everyone in New York. I'm in Los Angeles. Uh, I just wanna take show you real quickly. Uh, it's a bit cloudy today, but it's 70 degrees. And I really just wanted to talk to Dave Price and get a, uh, oh, here he is, to find out what's going on uh, in the East Coast with this, uh, huge snowstorm that you guys have been hit with and Dave's going to be joining us. Dave. Hello. We did oh, it. It looks so warm out there. It's 70 degrees. It's a bit cloudy today. Uh, so please don't hate me everyone for being in the sunshine. And, uh, but Dave, I want to hear all about what's going on with this big snowmageddon 2021. Well, I mean, listen, this is significant. I mean, we're talking about, uh, we have in some parts of the Northeast, in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, right now, there are over two feet of snow. And I think we're going to net out in some locations with upwards of 30 inches of snow. I mean, there have been worse storms. I mean, like right as of this moment, I think this ranks as like the 19th snowiest storm uh, in in the history of uh, New York City and Central Park, but it, this is still going strong. This is like, this is not a quick duration event. Don't yep. step on that line. So, Dave, where? Wait, are you in? You're obviously in your car. Uh, can no, you no, 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 no. No, I'm not in my car. I'm in my office at NBC. You must be mistaken. Um, <laughs> and if you want, I'll. Uh, I have a. Let me just show you around if I can. Um, yeah. Please. Yeah, I will. I'll, we'll get to the weather in just a second. But this is my office. That's the, my waiting room right there. And <laughs> if you can see out in that direction, I have a beautiful view uh, of uh, and a gorgeous patio. I just go right through that door and then a uh, gorgeous view of, of the front of the building. It's 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 incredible. Wait, get outside. Talk to me outside. All right. I've also set this up, by the way. Let me just show you. Uh, those of you who are new to Instagramming and, you know, how do you do your studio? How do you go high tech? How do you bring it up to like the Katie Couric level? Let me just show you a couple of things about the studio I set up right now. So if you take a look right there on my dashboard, I set up another iPhone with a spotlight so that when I'm like this, you still see me. Now, you say to yourself, why did you sit in the car if I asked you to do an Instagram about the weather outside? Well, let me just show you. First exactly. of all, let me just, yeah, watch this. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get out into the elements right now. Wait, now I can't hear you, Dave. Hey, Katie. What just happened? Yeah, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty here because uh, my staff is on break right now uh, here in my office. And I stepped out of the car not realizing the audio is through my OnStar system or something, and it's not going through here. Well, so, can, you, can, you, can you fix that? I someone's, think I can. Someone's making fun of us. They said boomer tech. Okay. Well, you know what? Why, why, let me call my eight year old and see if he can fix this problem. All right. Can so, figure it out so you can take your earpiece out. So I will, I want to see outside, Dave. I know. Well, if you give me a moment to solve my audio problem, I will show you. Or, hold on, here's what I'm going to do. Bear with me one second. Okay. Um, talk amongst yourselves, be the Katie people okay. know and love, entertain you, America, and I'll fix this. Figure this out. First of all, please DM me your snow pics so I can post them on uh, my stories. I love seeing all the snow. I am in Los Angeles, as you can see. Um, and I've been doing some work here. I have been doing, um, actually, I just wanted to escape the cold weather. They said, turn your car off and put Hold your ear. That's what some helpful Turn my car would. off. Perfect. And okay, my car is off. Remove the Bluetooth, some nice person named Amanda just said. Um, anyway, I'm sort of jealous that I know you guys may be jealous of me because I'm in nice weather, but I'm jealous of you because the snowstorm looks absolutely beautiful 
And, uh, um, and anyway, uh, hi, Alabama. So happy you met Amanda. I don't know. Oh, goodness. The book is almost done. Thank you so much for asking. I'm actually working on it right now. And uh, it comes out in November. But I, I understand you can pre-order the book, you guys. I just Someone told me it was on Amazon, which is kind of nerve-wracking. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. It's, uh, it's been really interesting and cathartic and... Um, you know, emotional for me to write about this. I loved Amanda Kluth. She's wonderful. I went on the talk last week and they were all so nice. Hi, Salem, Mass. Um, I don't know if Dave went away or what's going on, you guys. How do I rejoin? Uh, just do it again, Dave. Adriana, can you tell Dave how to rejoin? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to do my own audio book. Um, I'm not allowed really to talk about uh the J word right now. I'll let you guys know as soon as I can. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Here's Dave. Okay, Dave, you can just rejoin again. Um, let's see. Hi. Hi, Mo. <laughs> we're having some audio problems, but we're going to figure it out. Will you ask Adriana if she can come up? Because Dave had to go away, and now I think we want him back. Well, he's got a request to come in. I know. Dave, request to come in again. This is fascinating, isn't it? In the isn't meantime, it? I'll ask you a couple questions. There he is. Hold on. No, no, no. That's okay. Hold on. Molnar wants in, you guys. Okay. Uh, hold on. Do you want me to ask you a couple questions? No, you don't have to ask me questions. I'm just talking. You can say hi, though. Say hi to everybody. I don't see anybody. Well, they're all there. See? Oh. I love Dave, too. Yeah, um, thank you. Anyway, just say hi to everybody. Hi. Um, it's, it's a little chilly here. I put on a sweater. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. People are really, you know, there's a lot of snow out there. Uh, here we go. Here's Dave. All right. Here's Dave again. You can say hi to, to yeah, but come say hi to Dave. Well, I don't see him. He's coming in just a second. Anyway, so. Hi, guys. We're having technical difficulties. We're all good. I must have been on your end. <laughs> all right. So talk to us. Hi, hi Danny. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dave. Um, John just wanted to say a quick hi, um, but tell us honestly, in all seriousness, because um, you are a weather person, Dave. Can you give us the 411 on what's going on there? Yeah. So here's the here's the story. As I was mentioning earlier, this is going to be this is a long duration nor'easter, and um, nor'easters don't get the name simply because the storm is in the northeast. It's because of the northeast, and that's what we're experiencing. So. Last night before midnight, about two inches of snow rolled in through the New York area. And what we've seen is that area of low pressure, which creates these storms, which kind of spins around counterclockwise and brings those winds out of the northeast, kind of just sitting off the coast. And that's what's created uh, the storm system, which is just pounding the area. And if you can see, um, this is uh, Sixth Avenue right now. That's the famous... Um, Radio City Music Hall, and uh, in this direction, that's the gorgeous uh, entrance to 30 Rock. This is a combination of a lot of different things coming to play, Katie. You have uh, heavy snow, and as I told you just a minute ago, upwards of 30 inches in some location, possibly tonight. Then you have, I don't know if you can hear the winds, but the winds are howling. Unbelievable. Yes. How strong are the winds, Dave? The, the winds are about 30 miles per hour, gusting to close to 50 miles per hour. And so that takes temperatures, which are about 25 to 30 degrees, and makes them feel bitter cold. So this is going to be a, this is going to be a tough 24 hours. And what's interesting about this storm, though, Katie, um, is this is the first huge storm that's rolled through um, in the pandemic era. So you have people who commute from home or work from home, students who are going to school from home, people who are much more adept at doing their work without having to commute. So if you take a look, you know, normally during rush hour, uh, even during a storm, this would be stuck up bumper to bumper with people trying to navigate. Look at the situation right now. Now I'm walking across in a red light. I'm not doing anything unsafe. There's hardly anyone on the, on the roads. And that's been 
Um, interesting. You know, we got a big storm in December, but uh, this is the first huge storm um, in the but pandemic they, era. Isn't yeah. that good because they've been able to clean the streets pretty well, and um, and so they've been able to manage the accumulation better than they might have if there had been a lot of traffic, right? True, but keep in mind, snowfall rates are between one and three inches an hour. And no matter how many cars are on or off the roads, when snowfall is coming down at that rate, it's, dip it's just difficult to keep up with. Even with, uh, you know, slim flight schedules at all three major airports in New York, JFK, LaGuardia, and, uh, and Newark, hundreds of flights canceled today just because you can't keep up with the, with the rate of snowfall. Hey, Dave, um, is it going to keep snowing till like four tomorrow? Stop. Yeah, the snow is going to continue through the night into tomorrow morning. Now, keep in mind, oh, Katie, I what just happened? Got, I just got oh. all over my pants. I'm sorry. Will, will KCM be able to reimburse me for dry cleaning or something? Yes. Like, yes. We can get more. Get more on the sidewalk, Dave. So you're not getting. Yeah. Okay. So um. The and look at your gonna... glasses. And by the way, Dave, you need a warmer hat. You need a real snow hat. I uh, you know. Let me just tell you something. I have a snow hat, first of all. And I was on my way out to do this, and I called my wife, Jackie, who you know, Jack A, right? And my wife said, "Don't wear that hat because you look stupid." No, put it on. We'll be the judge of it. Let's see it. Hold on. I think it looks cute. All right, there we go. We'll and I have to stay warm because it's absolutely frigid out it is, there. It, it is so cold out there. You really, you know, in weather like this, you truly appreciate the first responders, police, firefighters, tow truck operators, people who, who have no choice but to work in, in this weather. It is. Well, Somebody said, somebody said they were worried about a lot of the homeless people who live in the affected areas. Are they, and, and, a, uh, and that problem is big with COVID, with uh, closing shelters. So how have they been able to handle that? You know, in New York City, it's a code blue event. So, uh, you know, they're doing their best police and, uh, and first responders to identify uh, those with no place, with no shelter and find them a warm place. Um, but it's an issue. It also highlights the need to take care of our homeless and, and work towards solving that issue more broadly, regardless of what season it is. Um, but the, the, the conditions outside are, are dangerous for prolonged exposure. And by the way, Katie, we didn't, you know, right here we're talking about hey, heavy... Clean your left lens. It has all this schmutz on it. Oh, okay, Katie. I'll just, I'll just hand this to my assistant. There we go. Could you clean that for me? Okay. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Thank you. And by the way, uh, your, hat is, your hat is getting mixed reviews, just FYI. Is it really? I mean, what am I going to do? I, I think it looks cute. And more you, importantly, you know what? it's functional. It's functional. You can't, I can't look runway perfect all the time. So That's tonight, right. Tonight I had to sacrifice. But it goes with all the slush on my pants now. Sorry. What were you going to say? An important, an important thing. Yeah. So as we look at the snow totals in New York, which are right now around 16 inches or so and, and continuing to build. Um, and what's happening is we head to the West where it's even more than that. You head down to the Jersey shore to locations to the South and it was a rain event, but with winds gusting to 50, 60 miles per hour and astronomical high tide when water is at its highest, we're worried about major to moderate flooding in, in, in areas along the Jersey Shore, Long Island Sound, the South Shore of Long Island, the Connecticut shoreline. We're watching all of that. Now you take this wet, heavy snow, you keep those winds out tonight, and we also watch for the possibility of power outages. It's a, it's a, it's a major storm. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a scary situation, and especially for a lot of uh, elderly people who are uh, living by themselves. If you have a relative or someone who's living alone, 
definitely, I think we should urge people to check on their, their friends and loved ones or neighbors, right? Yeah, listen, this is the era of high tech. We have the ability to FaceTime, to tweet, to text, to call. Um, and we've kind of perfected that art in the quarantine era. So uh, a good thing to do, um, especially on nights like this, you got to make sure you have your heat. And to everyone who's watching, including my own parents, uh, you know, these surfaces are so slippery. Um, just don't go out. There's no need to go out. These storms, you know, you don't have to hype them up because they, the visuals do it for you. Uh, the, the, it's a non-event, though, if you stay inside. Hey, Dave, how far south does this, this uh, storm hit? Someone asked about Georgia who's watching. Um, tell, me, tell me what's going on. How, how expansive is it? No, it's, this isn't a storm that, remember, nor'easters typically uh, roll through the mid-Atlantic states up through uh, areas of New England. Uh, so this is not something which is uh, uh, going to affect or is affecting Georgia from that standpoint. They kind of begin to slide up the coast pull in all that Atlantic moisture and then spit it back. But my, in my hometown of Arlington, Virginia, somebody just said there's a lot of snow in Northern Virginia. So, so yeah. I mean, how far South does it go is basically what I was trying to ask you, Dave. Oh yeah. Well, basically what I'm trying to answer Katie is um, that this storm system, by the way, the hair looks fantastic. Whoever I cut it did a great. I got it cut finally. Uh, yeah. I just got it cut. It was so ratty and so bad. No, it's and good. My roots were coming in like there's no tomorrow. So no, thank you, for noticing, Dave. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, fantastic. And where where were we, Katie? Oh, oh sorry. Talking about where the storm system was. Yeah, this stretch down. They got snow in D.C. and Maryland and Virginia. Um, you know, and on occasion, nor'easters will will begin their turn a little further to the south. Um, so, but the 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 brunt of the storm really uh, has, has pounded the tri-state area and will move to New England. By the way, um, someone just wrote that they were in North Georgia um, and they had a lot of snow. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if that, I, I doubt that was, that wasn't connected to this system. I don't know. Um, this system rolled across from uh, the West Coast and kind of made a long, Someone just said, what's his handle? He's hot. Well, thank you very much. That was my mother. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave, before we go. Um, oh, okay. I guess I'm done. Yeah. Follow Dave. He is one of the nicest people and funniest people I've ever met. He's also such a good friend and such a good brother. Dave's uh, brother, Steve who I've gotten to know has been battling pancreatic cancer. He is extraordinarily heroic. Dave is uh, the most devoted brother, I think, other than my brother that I've, that I've ever met. And um, he's uh, one of the best people in the world. So um, Ooh, follow oh, oh. because he's, he's so fun. I'm being earnest and sincere no, for a I second. Dropped, no, I dropped my phone. I apologize. His Dave Price and his handle is Dave Price TV. Um, anyway, I got to know Dave when we were both at CBS together, um, which I'm writing about in my book, but we'll wait until my book comes out. And um, and the most devoted friend. I think you have a lot of people who love you who are watching this, Dave. But please tell Steve, tell, tell Steve we all said hi. We want I to will. say Celine, that we're sending him all our love and support. And um, and just fun talking to you, Dave. Anything else like news or weather-wise you need to tell me now that I've digressed? Um, well, right now I'm, I have significant frostbite setting in, so uh, and hypothermia. So I'm not. What? I want to let you go. I want to let you go because I don't want it. I don't want you to get a cold or get sick. Well, no, I just want to. I want to. I want to end before we end. I want to say thank you for those kind words. And I want to remind people, as you always do, um, whether it's pancreatic cancer or colorectal cancer, screening, listen to your body, get that exam, 
and it's through research and great organizations like Stand Up to Cancer and Let's Win that we're going to, whether it's today, tomorrow, five or ten years from now, we're going to beat these diseases. So you're very kind for that. Um, and uh, and it, this is really... And in the next month or so, I'm bringing a lot of attention to pancreatic cancer because, as you know, put your hat back on. Everybody what doesn't want you to get sick. Um, my uh, my sister Emily died of pancreatic cancer, as you know, yeah. when she was yeah. old. And it's a, it's a, a a cancer that needs a lot more research. People are starting to be able to live longer, but we really want better. Um, and and have better better you know therapies that they can turn to. But um, so support you can support PanCan. Let's win. You can support Stand Up to Cancer. I don't mind you, me, of course. I don't mind you teasing me at all. You're one of my favorite followers. But anyway, um, uh, but but we really need more research uh, for pancreatic cancer. And of course, when March rolls around, I'll be talking to you all about colon cancer screening. And uh, how important. That is. Oh my God, Dave, I love you. I want you to go inside and get warm. I love you too. Love to Molnar. I'll see you soon. And uh, this was great. Well, let's do it again. Any subject, anytime. And uh, I'll see you guys Good later. Time. Be well. Okay. Right, bye bye. Buddy, how, do get off, how do I get off this crazy thing, Jane? <laughs> you just Are you with me X. now for the rest of the night? I no, don't understand. No, no, hit the X and it'll go away. I don't even see the X. Oh, okay, God. Hold on, hold on a so, second. Oh, oh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>